Hallo, liebe Logo Dear Logo Programmer, today I will show you how to simulate third-party devices that communicate with Logo. We do this using the software Logo Soft Comfort and also by online testing at the actual device. I have prepared an example as an illustration. Here we can see two configured devices, one Logo and one S7 compatible device. For the purpose of this example, let's say it is a Symmatic. Let's take a closer look at the configured data. Here we see the Symmatic transferring two bytes from data block 1 starting at VB0 to Logo and storing it in the Logo memory at address VB0. The actual Logo program consists of just a few function blocks. We use the analog network input to evaluate the value of the Symmatic device. A threshold switch is configured to activate the output as soon as the value exceeds 500 and to deactivate it at 450. Then there are the output Q1 and the background lighting for the logo display, which will change the background lighting to red if Q1 is activated, meaning the value exceeds 500. The program also includes a message text that visualizes the actual value of the threshold switch as a value and as a bar graph. Now, how do we simulate the data exchange between the Symmatic device and Logo? We use the simulation function in Logo Soft Comfort. Here we see the window representing the displays and down here we can open a data table using this button. We enter the value we want to monitor or change in the data table. In our example that is VW0 and we can manipulate the value in the column New Value. As you can see, the display or the visualization of the display refreshes immediately. The output is activated in the program if the value exceeds 500 and the background lighting immediately switches to red. And how does this all look live in Logo? We need to transfer the program to Logo and then start the online testing. During the testing, we can update the visualization of the logo display using this button here, and we can also open the data table here. We enter the address we want to monitor or change here, just like in the software simulation. And in the column New Value, we can now enter the new value just like we did earlier. And we now see here in the visualization of the display how the value is updated immediately here and in the device. If the value should now rise above the specified threshold value of 500, we can see here in the visualization that the display color changes to red and the bar graph and the value are updated. We see the same right here in the device and output 1 is also activated. As you can see, a simulation of communication partners communicating with Logo can be done in the software and also during online testing. I wish you lots of fun and success working with Logo.